What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Real Touch GML here back with the 11th part of our Minecraft tutorial series. And today what we're going to be doing is creating the ores or the, uh, the droppable items that we can then pick up once we have uh, destroyed something. So like these leaves for example, we would have leaves fall that you can pick up or such as grass and all that fun stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and begin. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and create another object here, and this is gonna be called Object Drop. And we're gonna have the uh, the sprite of our sprite underscore blocks, and we're gonna create a quick uh, create event here, and it's gonna say image speed equals zero. Now we're not actually gonna set up the image index, and that is because what we're gonna do is find out our, our, from our data which block we're destroying and depending on that block we will give it that proper image index so that's going to be later on so let's go ahead and go into the draw event now and basically what we're going to do here is that we're going to draw underscore sprite underscore ext and here we're just going to say sprite index image index x plus 8 y plus 8 and then our X scale is going to be 0 0.5, our Y scale is going to be 0 0.5, our rotation is going to be 0, color is going to be C white, and our alpha is going to be 1. So basically what we're doing here is we are just chopping the size of our block in half and also adding 8 to it so that we still get the proper mask and that it is in the middle now. So our sprite ends up in the middle. All right, so there we go. So now let's go into the object block here. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need to do this for the object ghost block as well. But in alarm zero, here you see we have um, right here. Once we break it, and once we break it, we're basically going to create a very vari variable drop, and this is gonna equal instance create x y object drop, and then we're gonna say drop dot image index equals image index and that's where we're putting in the image index again so whatever block we destroy here it's going to basically parent our drop is gonna uh, basically kind of be like a child of the block that we are destroying here now let's go ahead and press ok so that we get the name changed and let's do this for ghost block as well so alarm zero and here we're gonna say drop equals instance create X, Y, object drop, and then drop dot image index equals image index. There we go. So we go and save it and run it. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're in game here. Actually, let me redo this. So now if I went ahead and said destroy this grass block, as you can see, we get a smaller grass block that is now created. Same with here, and if we do dirt, it's now the dirt icon. So everything is just transferring over as far as textures. And uh, here, let's do a leaf. So as you can see, now we got the leaf here. And this is a very simple way without having to duplicate all of those uh, object grass drop, object dirt uh, drop, etc., etc. So as you can see, we have the wood, and this works for everything. So if we go ahead and Restart the room again and start working our way down. Do, 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 do. Start working our way down here, hopefully trying to get into the stone. And it looks like it's a far way down. All right, let's try it one more time. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got coal. So if we go ahead and delete the coal. As you can see, it's a, it's a nice coal texture that's just kind of shrunken down for us. So that's a very efficient way of doing that. But you might have noticed that there's no gravity to these drops, and in actual Minecraft, there is gravity applied to these drops. So that's what we have to do next. So go ahead and go into the step event of our object drop here. And with this, we're gonna say if not place meeting x, not see, x comma y plus eight comma object block and not place meeting x comma y plus 8 comma object ghost block 
We're going to set gravity to equal 0 0.5. And why are we... Oh, forgot a parenthesis. There we go. And then else gravity equals zero, v speed equals zero. So this is going to detect if there's a block eight pixels down, and if there's not, then we are going to just set gravity to 0 0.5. If there is, then we're obviously going to stop that block from proceeding. So let's go ahead and try that out now. Go ahead and compile it. And let's get a good world here. So here we go. We have our leaf, and if we do that, Oh, they drop and they collect down there at the bottom. So there you go. And now let's go ahead and just real quick, I wasn't actually gonna do this in, the, in this tutorial, but just for the sake of it, we're gonna say collision with our drop. And we can select the other there, instance destroy. Make sure you check this other or else you're gonna destroy yourself. So you go ahead and run that now. So now we're, it kinda has the feeling that we're picking them up in actuality we're destroying them as we uh, as we collide let's get a good one here so we get rid of that and it kind of looks like we're picking them up but again that's an illusion we're actually just destroying them and there you go so let's do this again there we go so we chop down some wood and do, 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 do. Get down there and we pick it up all right so that's gonna be it for today go leave a like go and subscribe let's try for 50 likes this time and i will of course see you guys next time peace